All right, Justin, what's up? What's going on, Justin? Just another day, bro. Uh, how, 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 have you, how have you been? Been doing good. Just, uh, you know, working on these things with four wheels. Yeah, and, um, <laughs> and, and I noticed here you have a very nice uh, car that you really don't see a lot of. You don't. And this is a... Uh, well, you, let, you talk to us about this. So this is a, the newer Acura NSX. Okay. Um, built in America, apparently. Nice. Designed here as well. Wow. With a Honda technology. We know Honda's been doing very well in Formula One, providing engines and stuff. And yeah. We know their road cars and, you know, the they have that, uh, you know, Honda racing. It yeah. kind of goes with it, right? So yeah. this is the epiphany of that. Great, cool. great machine. Opportunity to drive it uh, for a couple of days. Okay. And let me tell you, this is exactly what you would think a, a street Formula One car would be. Mm-hmm. And, and, and we'll explain why. Okay. It, it, you know, the fact that it has, it's a hybrid, so you have two electric motors here. Okay. One per wheel. You have uh, the V6 twin turbo engine specifically designed for this, for this car. Wow. Uh, okay. With another electric in the transmission. So, uh, so this is uh, an electric motor then? Right? Yes, exactly. So we could probably have a, yeah. So this is engine. Uh-huh. This is electric motor. Okay. And this is transmission. Okay, dual nice. Clutch, dual, a dual clutch, uh, nine speed to be exact. Okay, so nice. So it's a nine speed then. It's a nine speed. It, it shifts so quick. It's amazing. Yeah. Power delivery is instant. You have no boost lag because of the electric motors. Okay, uh, nice. <laughs> so then it has the, the you said tur it's turbo then. It, yeah, it's twin turbo, a V6. It's okay. not a it's not an engine out of an Odyssey. It's not an engine out of another Honda. This is a specific engine for this car. Yeah. The the regular uh, V6, you know, has this much angle. This one has this much angle. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. To bring it back down, lo yeah. lower the center uh, uh, point of gravity for the car. Inspired stuff. It's 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 really. So they amazing. kept that in mind with a design. Exactly. And that exactly. seems that sounds pretty cool. It's yeah. not just like your regular. V6, like so, you said. so you do feel it. You feel that when you're driving the car, you feel all these things and, and it makes sense. You go 65 miles per hour in this car and you feel like you're having a lot of fun. So it does exactly what it's supposed to. Yeah. One of the craziest things that, that I found that this car does is when you're taking a, a, a corner, the electric motors can work individually. It'll, it'll add more power to one or, or the other. Okay. depending on to help you for the steering it'll help you point the car in the right direction wow so okay. I didn't it's know that. <laughs> very precise very yeah. very precise steering it's it's incredible so no the, the car feels exactly how it looks that's, wow. that's the yeah, best it explanation looks, for it looks it. fast <laughs> yeah and, so. and here we are you know uh, just looking over it uh, he doesn't even know what he had uh, we yeah. just found out he does have a fab speed exhaust system oh wow it doesn't look like okay. much but it really it's it's it fits the car so well yeah well i was gonna ask if this was aftermarket yeah no it, it definitely is aftermarket okay it, it's from fab speed it's just a, a cat back so yes yeah, sorry i i thought it was aftermarket because of the way you know it's yeah. made it's, it's yeah like, it looks like it's been shooting it planes or something yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah but uh but yeah so it's a cat pack it still has all its cats and stuff so it'll pass smog oh okay um all right and then yeah this right here let's see yeah oh right there so you have oh both, yeah the, we see. you know the, the catalytic converter and then you have right there, the yeah. actual turbocharger right there yes all right so we got one on one side we got the, tur the other turbo on the other side which is hard to yeah. see because yeah, this we one's got a little the, harder but we got the oil sunk there but, but i think i could see it here perfect yeah, yeah. Oh, let me see uh, yeah right there there you go yeah perfect okay uh okay yeah and well you got your hybrid uh wiring <laughs> Yes, I see Going there's to a the, to the battery that's, energy warning there. Yeah, sits right here. The battery sits kind of in the middle, something like that. Yes. Um, great, great balance in the car, really, overall. Uh, what else? What else do we got with this one? Uh, so in terms of, of, of like a, a supercar, would you see this as a more reliable supercar? Or? Uh, I guess time will tell. As of yeah. now, I want to say yes. Uh, in a couple of years, we'll see if there is any other, you know, discrepancies <clears throat> that might surface. I highly doubt it. Knowing Honda yeah. and how they do their stuff, it's my second uh, favorite brand, to be honest, other than yeah. BMW. They they know what they're doing. They've been doing it for a lot of years, and uh, you can tell this this is built uh, exactly to what you think it is. Mm -hmm. So, uh, my conclusion is 
if you're in the market to buy an exotic car or yes. something that's you know in this area do not overlook this car a hundred thousand hundred and fifty hundred twenty thousand dollar car is equal or greater than some of the vehicles out there in the 250 almost 300 uh, 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 price tag price so you're getting a lot from this vehicle yeah for for the money even uh, yeah I know a hundred hundred thousand it is a lot of money for a car yes. but if you're in the market for one do not overlook this this machine will not disappoint of course it's not the most luxurious one because it yes. is literally racing inspired car for this it is. yeah and it's a comfortable car and the crazy part it drives like a Honda <laughs> like a well, I, I would, th I would kind of think it might, but I mean, it does look pretty cool. Look at that. Yeah, We're no, getting a little shot there of of, of the above. Oh yeah, no, it looks it looks beautiful. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll break it down in a, in a sec, and we'll yeah, some and it does have brakes. some some big brakes. So what kind of brakes are those, Justin? Uh, they're just regular uh, two uh, two piece rotors. They're okay. not the carbon ceramic stuff or, or, and that. And, and that's kind of cool because it just ends up being very expensive. more expensive. Yeah. yeah. For, for the that's maintenance the and the repairs. Yeah. So the regeneration. Uh, regeneration. Yeah, okay. Helps, uh, I was going to ask you about that. Does it have like some type of regeneration? Yeah, it'll, it'll regenerate the, the uh, energy back into the batteries too. So like I said, this whole thing is, is very functional, very techy. Yeah. Uh, uh, the, oh, there's a stealth mode. You can, you can okay. go full electric mode by shift of a knob in the center. Yeah. You have a thing called dynamic uh, uh, setting, and it's on the fly. So nice. You have okay. Mode, which is full electric. And yeah. You have like normal, which it'll shift from electric and hybrid. Uh, That's pretty cool. And, and, yeah, sure. and gas. Plus, it's more uh, engine than, than energy. Uh -huh. And then you have your track mode and everything. And oh, it's okay, on the cool. Fly. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. You want to get home and don't wake up <laughs> wake up nobody up, put it in electric mode and literally stealth like a tesla oh wow <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so yeah it's fun time with this thing yeah all right so um uh, now um i don't know if you want to uh bring it down and we check out the interior maybe open up the engine bay i'm i'm, I'm intrigued on seeing the engine <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay it's on the floor this is where it starts getting pretty interesting we get to see a lot of the the cool stuff that the car you know is known for okay. AC compressors right here so apparently we were right the uh, there's probably some electric motor that's spinning it for us so you can have the engine off and you still have AC so that's great so it would be kind of kind of like in a way a Prius system yeah yeah you turn it off completely and you can still have the AC exactly you still have the AC on and everything's functional uh, regular car battery for the engine, yeah, that. right? <laughs> you got your steering rack that's that's sitting down there. Electric, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, it's hard to tell, but you do have the dual electric motor set up here, okay. going one to each wheel individually. It actually sits right in the center, and it has two CV axles like a regular setup. Okay. Uh, yeah, and and it's uh, this is what I love about these cars. The biggest secret that I've found is the scaffolding it's it's oh, real yeah. simple under under the the shell of these cars and i'm talking about these i'm saying mclarens and all these it's, it's not all built like that under there but definitely you see a lot of the scaffolding stuff which is great you know it lets you know it's inspired for racing if this wasn't here you would see the tire and everything so all this is like a hollow uh, area you even see the suspension already yeah, here the the h and r's yeah, yeah. h and r lowering springs so you can tell the simplicity of the system is is incredible that's, and uh, again, it, it all adds up to become a really good result. Like it's a driver's car, it drives, it, you point it and it goes, you know. Yeah. Um, the, cool. yeah, it's, it's, it's because it's, <laughs> it's, it's so low to the floor. It's so low to the floor that 
it, you can't stop looking at it. You're like, how do you drive this on the road? I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's a car. I mean, it's beautiful and yeah. again, simple. Simple interior, the, the colors, nothing crazy. The paddle shifters work really good. You have everything you need. You have a radio, Bluetooth, you know, your gauge cluster literally reminds me of, a, of one of those uh, modern uh, screen, like the Haltech screens that they have your engine management yes. uh, for any car, like standalones and stuff. Huh? Well, it reminds me of that dash because that's exactly what it does. It just tells you what it, you need to know. No heads up display, no extra nicks or knacks, just yeah. whatever it is. And in that center, in the center console, that, that big circle, that knob, yeah. that knob doesn't do anything with uh, uh, climate or radio, no. That's the dynamic mode knob. Oh, okay. that, so as you go, you're in quiet mode and you wanna have some fun, boom, you just sweep it to the side, put it in track mode or sport plus mode, your exhaust boom, starts getting super loud and uh, the car becomes into the race car that it is, right? And yeah. it's on the fly. That thing is amazing. It's nice. amazing. You can, okay. all those presets you can do. This intake is actually for the intercoolers, yeah, the for the turbo. You notice, you notice yeah, so, so that right there is actually cooling the intercoolers. Uh -huh. and, and how this turbocharger system is, it's pretty straightforward, like, to yeah. the bone. Like, there's really not much to it. And now let's, uh, now we got to the back, so let's, you know, give us a little more insight on this uh, over here on the, on the rear end of the MSX. So, it, it allows to actually have a little trunk. <coughs> There's a lot that don't. Yeah. But and it's actually pretty big. Yeah. So it, you know, to and, and a lot of it is because of the way they designed the car. Mm -hmm. Again, remember, we said that this engine is as low to the ground as possible. Yes. Stuck forward, almost like literally <laughs> behind yeah, right our, behind right behind our lower back. <laughs> so, you have your transmission here. So all this is, is, is a hollow, so it allows you to have a little compartment, mm -hmm. which is great. You, I mean, you need some storage, right? Your yeah. girlfriend or wife's purse or something. Some <laughs> <laughs> a couple of gallons of milk, right? Yeah. It doesn't fit much. Um, have, yeah, these, these engines are, again, um, made by hand okay, here in the U.S. Number, huh? Yeah, yeah, it's uh, 01256. Yeah, cool. and... and uh, I mean, it's it's pretty pretty straightforward. It still is a Honda. Okay. It's as reliable as a car can get. Well, then you want to tell us a little bit about what's going on here? Yeah, auto bodies. Obviously, uh, because we have two sides of the motor, mm -hmm. uh, this pipe coming from the intercoolers, uh, cooling the air coming from the turbo that's sitting a little lower from here. Yes. So that's why you see this recirculation type of, you know, entering. This is your intake. So it goes into the intake, and then it starts going into the engine part, valves, and all that. Okay, so, cool. so yeah, th yeah, <laughs> th and this this cover right here, mm -hmm. I, I I honestly think they did it to mirror the the shape of the car. Yeah, I I really think that they did that. <laughs> <laughs> it looks great. It looks cool. Yeah, I, uh, looks really cool. I'm not gonna lie, yeah. but I mean, if there's one thing from this car, yes, it's the rear end. Yeah, the rear look end at that. Pretty, look, pretty yep. look at look at those fins. The yeah. way that exhaust, the width of the tires, the 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 track width, the the stance that it has. Yeah. And it's it's just a wide, amazing. A wide car. It's a very wide car. Yeah. It's a very wide car. Uh, stability is amazing at high speeds. Mm -hmm. Stability is amazing at high speeds. Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah, she drives like a Honda. Like I said, it's a it's a really great daily driver, exotic slash sports car, whatever you want to call it. Yes. Uh, it. It's one of the yeah, like a Lamborghini Huracan. Yeah. It's a it's a it's a one of these cars that you can daily. Yeah. Very few McLaren will be a little harder daily. Yeah. <laughs> but but uh, yeah, these things are are just all in one package. And we notice that uh, you know we get airflow mm -hmm. from this as well. Yeah, and so it's not plastic; it feels like it's like a, uh, like a metal. Like a metal. <laughs> yeah, the all the air vents are functional in this in this car. This it's car. yeah, it's a real deal. So yeah. again, I advise people: if you're in the market for a car like this, do not overlook the NSX. Yeah, it's uh, actually yeah. pretty. Very sleek looking car. Mm -hmm. That's a, I, yes, sir. I've seen one, but I never really, you know, paid close attention. And luckily, we have Justin here that he got us a, a inside look. Inside look on the NSX, uh, up close and personal with the NSX. So that's yes, sir. Very cool. And then the breakdown that you gave us of course. gives us an understanding of what Intel in this car. You know, what what uh, the technology and the, the engineering. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 really amazing stuff, and uh, you know we're lucky to be able to do this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's